So from next time on, when you are making your revision strategy, let's call it as an active recall and make use of these scientifically proven principles of interleaving between topics and between subjects, of spacing your, uh, you know, recall intervals and practice the art of retrieval, which is nothing but simply attempting questions. Hello friends, hi, this is Dr. Shodali Chandra. In our previous video, we talked about how to read a clinical topic or a clinical subject for the first time. Now, most of us have actually been doing that for quite some time now, but um, have you ever felt uh, lost even after hours of putting in the effort? You have highlighted the text, you've made the notes yourself, you've re read multiple times. Uh, yet, when you know attempting a test, be it in the form of MCQs or you know clinical case scenarios or short notes or long questions in your examinations, you've not been able to perform that well. Now, if that is the case, you do need to look into your revision strategy. Strategy. We have to realize that no matter the amount of hours we put in, you know, reading, rereading, maybe multiple number of times, but without strategizing and conceptualizing, you know, it does not necessarily mean that we are going to get results in our examination because this revision should not be and is not rereading. By doing this to ourselves, we actually fall into a trap, a trap that scientists called the illusion of fluency. We make ourselves believe that just because we have read and reread a text multiple number of times, we think that we know it all. We think that we can attempt any number of questions from that text of any different permutation and combinations of options provided to us. And that is where we are wrong. Re-strategize our revision strategy. What we need to be doing is actually active recall that scientists call. We need to recall and remember with the textbook closed. I mean, once you're done reading with the topic, get a mental picture or make a flowchart of what you just read. Doing that, there will be things that you forget. There will be things that you remember. Now, those things that you forget are the key important highlighting points that you need to remember and recall for the next revision that is going to happen a couple of days down the line. So the next question arises is, how frequently should one revise? Now, depending upon the capacity, of course, but one should definitely revise at the end of each day, whatever one has read. And uh, it is good strategy to revise what you read yesterday. And then, of course, repeat the same topic at the end of a week and then at the end of the month. So we need to space out the revision. The more effort that is made each time to actively recall, the better is the long-term memory. You see, with each successive revision, the time taken to revise will become lesser and lesser. Errors will become lesser and lesser. And yes, I agree that it is time consuming in the short term, but it is definitely rewarding in the long term. So instead of calling it revision, let's call it active recall. And each act of active recall is in fact you testing yourselves. Each time you make mistakes, correct them, and then you tend to remember the details that you have forgotten much more clearly. So make your own flowcharts, keep practicing MCQs. And one very important way of having an active recall is simply discussing with friends. I mean, different sets of friends can come prepared with different topics and you can sit together and and actively recall. Another strategy which I believe is important for active recall and revision is that you should at least revise two subjects together. This is what is called as interleaving. You can do it between topics, you can do it between subjects. You see in your exams you are given 300 MCQs let's say, right? And none of those MCQs are presented to you in a topic wise or a subject wise manner. So you have to practice like you're actually going to perform in the final final examination day. Like they say, you know, practice like you play, then you will play like you practice. So from next time on, when you are making your revision strategy, let's call it as an active recall and make use of these scientifically proven principles of interleaving between topics and between subjects, of spacing your, uh, you know, recall intervals and practice the art of retrieval, which is nothing but simply attempting questions. 